The final step that I want to apply in ARC here is directly linking the NDVI information that we have within the Landsat image with the vegetation density that is now contained within the Landsat grid vector file. And that, remember, has been obtained through the analysis of the Worldview 2 data in eCognition. So to start with, let's look at the data sets. We have this Landsat grid that I have displayed already. And if I open the attribute table there, if you remember, we have used Horth's tools to calculate the, the number of polygons in terms of the vegetation and the area of each of those polygons that's, that's contained in there. And then we converted that to percentage. So within each grid cell in, in a vector file, we have the percentage of vegetation that's been calculated there. So what I now want to do is to link this directly with the NDVI information. So the other data set that I'm going to use is this NDVI point file. And remembering that was created by extracting the, the raster data into individual points. And if we look at the attribute table there, you'll see each point has an ID and then has the grid code column here, which is the actual NDVI value at that particular location. So what I'm going to do now is to, is to join both of these layers together. So the polygon file with the point file. So if I right click on Landsat grid and go to joins and relates and then click on join, that will bring me up two different options. So I can join data based on spatial location or the other option is to do the join based on attributes from, from the table. We're going to do it on spatial location because we're looking at exactly where those NDVI points are related to the Landsat grid. Now the, the layer that I'd like to join with my Landsat grid is the NDVI point layer. And then what I'm going to do is use the second radio button here, which is going to allow each polygon in the, in, in the Landsat grid layer to get information from the point that's closest to its boundary, which in this case is the point that's exactly inside that grid cell. So we'll then put in an output file in, in our working directory and click OK and run that process. Now I've already done that, so I'll just open up the resultant file that we see there. So that's my Landsat grid NDVI file. Okay, so the first thing that you notice is it looks exactly the same in terms of coverage as the Landsat grid. Okay, and if I wanted to make sure of that, I can also swipe those. Okay, so the extent is exactly the same. However, what's different is if we open the attribute table, we'll now see that the first few columns are exactly the same in the sense that we've got all this information on location and identity. We've got our area, our count of polygons obtained from the vegetation density file, and we have the percent value of vegetation within each cell. However, now we see that there's a number of columns that have been appended to the end of this attribute table. And in particular, what we're most interested in is this grid code. So what we now have is the grid code information, which is the NDVI in that particular cell, and we have the percent vegetation. And that's all we need now to have a look at the correlation between the NDVI value and the percent vegetation at a particular location.